In this video, we will create a building model from a DWG file. First, we will import the DWG file into DDSCAD. To do so, go to the menu Insert, External Resource, and select the option DWG as XREP. Locate the DWG file in the Windows Explorer, select it, and press Open. Before opening it in DDS CAD model, we want to check the actual quality of the DWG file. Press the Open in New Window button to open the DWG editor, which is integrated in DDS CAD. First, we need to check whether the origin of the file is correct. In the toolbar, select the option Pick a new origo for the drawing. Move your cursor to the lower left corner of the drawing and select it with the left mouse button. In the Drawing Origin dialog, we see that the actual origin of the drawing is around 300,000 meters away. Simply press OK to change the origin of the DWG file to the reference point you selected. As we have fixed the origin of the DWG file, we can save the changes by selecting the option Apply DWG Changes and press OK. The DWG file is now automatically inserted in the DDSCAD model and we can check the scale of the file. We do this with the function measure between two points that can be found in the toolbar. Search for a known distance like this dimension line that indicates the length of 3 meters, click on the first point and move the cursor to the select the second point as well. The measure between two points dialog opens and shows you that the scale of the drawing is not correct. Select the scale tab and change the real world length to 3 meters, then press tab to make DDSCAD automatically update the correct scale in meters. Press the Set Skill button to apply the new skill to the DWG file and press OK. At first it might look as if the DWG file has disappeared from the model, but it simply means that it shrank and it's not visible on the screen anymore. Click on the function Zoom All and DDSCAD will centralize the DWG file on your screen once more. To prove whether the skill is correct, you can use the function Measure Between Two Points again and select a known measure as done previously by clicking on the Start and End Points. The fields Y and Length show a value of 3 meters, which proves the skill is indeed correct. The next step is to clean up the DWG file, because we do not need all the available information. To do so, DDSCAD offers the Layer Wizard function. The Layer Wizard function can be found in the toolbar. Activate the function and move the cursor to one of the layers you would like to hide. By hovering over the layer, you will see it being highlighted in red and showing the layer name. With a left mouse click, you hide the layer. Repeat this process until you hide all unnecessary layers. If you accidentally turn off a layer, you can open the context menu with a right mouse click to see a list of hidden layers and select the layer you would like to make visible again. After that, you can continue cleaning up the DWG file. Now that we have turned off all unnecessary layers, we can change the colors of the layer to have a more neutral representation. To do so, open the Layer Display function. Currently, we only have a DWG file inserted, so that at the file type field all applications is selected and the table only shows the DWG layers that are available. Select this first layer, which is 2D ground floor stairs, and then press and hold the Shift key and select the last layer in the list so that all layers are selected. Activate a new pen for these layers by left-clicking inside the Pen Definition column. Select a specific pen for all the layers, for example dark grey, and click OK. By pressing the Repaint button, you see in the background that DDSCAD represents the DWG file with dark grey as a neutral color. Before we start defining the building model envelope, we will increase the model space by hiding the explorer and moving the toolbox to the right side of the screen. To start defining the building envelope, select the function Define Area from the building toolbox. Start from the lower left corner and make sure you have the function Use Smart Snap Points activated. In order to make it easier to define the contour, you can activate the ortho mode as well. 
Orpha mode assures you draw straight lines and can also be activated by pressing F9. Now that you are ready to start defining the outer contour of the building, move the cursor to reach the corners and left mouse click to select it. If by any chance you make a misclick, do not worry, you do not have to start all over again. Simply press backspace and DDS Cat will undo the last point you selected and allows you to continue from the previous one. Follow through the sequence until you reach the last two corner points. To close the contour, DDS Cat offers several options. One of them is closing the contour with a perpendicular corner and the second one is closing the contour with two perpendicular corners. Or you can simply close the contour by clicking on the contour start point. Once you have closed the contour, you have to select the floor and the ceiling type. Next, the room dialog pops up. It shows you basic information such as total area of the building. By default, DDS Cat applies a 2.5 meter story height. However, you can change the height in this field at any time. The next step is defining the rooms inside our building. Rooms can be generated in different ways. First though, we will define the rooms in the quickest way. It is done by using and converting the DWG geometry to generate rooms automatically. To do so, first activate the layer wizard and search for the layer related to the room contour, which in this case is 2D ground floor room surface. Right mouse click and select the option Use for Room Contour. By doing this, we use this layer to instantly recognize the room contour. Deactivate the Layer Wizard function by pressing Escape and activate the Define Room function in the toolbox. In order to automatically recognize rooms from DWG files, activate the option Recognize Room from DWG Objects from the context menu. This function automatically recognizes the room outline, doors, room number and description. By moving the cursor inside a room, you will see it gets highlighted in grey. With a left mouse click you generate the room with all of its information that is available on the DWG file. Repeat this step for some of the other rooms in the building. In some cases it might be required that you have to define rooms manually. First terminate the automatic room recognition by pressing escape and restart the define room function directly via the repeat function in the context menu. Defining rooms manually can be done by following the inner contours of the room simply by clicking on the inner corners until the polygon is closed. Once the room contour is closed, the room dialog opens and you can edit the room number and description. For rectangular rooms, you do not necessarily have to follow its inner contours, but you can simply define a diagonal line from inner room corners and press enter to create a room. Again, do not forget to enter a room number and description, whilst by default DDS Cat automatically generates an incremented room number and uses general as the room description. If for some reason objects like doors and windows were not automatically recognized or generated, you can use the automatic recognition function once again only for these objects. Move the cursor over the door arc and when it's highlighted, press left mouse button. The geometry between the exterior walls also recognized to define windows. Move the cursor over these windows and press left mouse button to generate a window. Be aware that DDS Cat can only extract the width of the window from the DWG file. You should check the sill height and height of the window afterwards. Doors and windows can also be defined manually. 
to define a door manually, activate the door function from the building toolbox. Click on the triple dots button to open the product database. Here you can select a specific door from the available categories and click OK to apply. By activating the option Get Width from Model, you allow DDS CAT to get the width from the DWG to define the door, saving you significant time measuring the width. In this case, the hinge placement is at the opposite side of the DWG object. To change it, open the context menu and select the option Swap Hinge Placement. The door can be manually created with two mouse clicks. Press Escape key to close the function. Inserting windows manually is similar to doors. Activate the window function from the toolbox. Select the window type, for example, the window wall room height segments. Define the height and sill height of the window. Make sure the option Get With From Model is activated under Placement and click OK. DDS CAT positions the window inside the wall and with two mouse clicks you define the window. You repeat this process at the positions where we did not yet define windows. Once you have finished the 3D building model, there is no need to have the DWG file active anymore. Select the Import and Model Manager function, which is located in the toolbar. Under the tab Imported Files, deactivate the DWG file by clicking on the I symbol and click OK. This does not delete the DWG file completely, it only hides it in the DDSCAD model. In the Layer dialog, we can now repeat the same steps for assigning a neutral color as we also did for the DWG file. Since we have layers created for the building model, we have used layers from the architect type displayed. In the Layer Setup drop-down list, we find several predefined layer setups. Select the Layer Setup Architecture. Next, assign a different pen color to the available layers. By selecting all the layers in the table and clicking in the Pen Definition column, we can assign a dark gray pen to all layers at once. Make sure that you save the Layer Setup configuration by pressing Save and clicking on the Repaint button. In the background, you will see the building model represented in a neutral gray color. Now that we have generated all the rooms, we can activate the room list by positioning the cursor in the bottom of the DDS CAD interface and open the context menu and then select Rooms option. The rooms in the list are linked to the model, allowing you to easily find the rooms from their ID, description and area. Next, you can save your project by clicking on the Save button or pressing Ctrl S on your keyboard. Now open the Project Manager and select the first story so that we can start modeling the story above. There is no need to entirely recreate the whole story since DDS CAD allows you to quickly copy through stories. To do so, open the building dialog, select the story to be copied and click on the copy button. Now we have created an instant copy of the ground floor in the first floor model. Press zoom extend to view the complete model. Click on the layer display and activate the layer setup architecture. In the second floor, we of course do not need the external doors, so select the doors and press delete to remove it from the model. We can also quickly make some changes to it by deleting the external wall. Select the external wall and press delete. DDS Cat asks if you really want to delete this area, press yes. Next, select the inner wall of the hallway and press delete again. 
subsequently activate the DDS define area function and draw a diagonal line from the lower left corner to the upper right corner. Press enter to define the new contour. DDS cat asks you to select the floor and ceiling type. In the room dialog, you can change the height if you would like to. To redefine the hallway, activate the define room function, move the cursor inside the hallway contour and open the context menu with right mouse button. The hallway can be automatically defined by selecting the option auto generate last room. Make sure that you enter the room number and description and press OK to confirm. After some minor changes, we have completed the second story and the second floor on top of the ground floor by reusing most of the information that was available. Now we are of course interested in looking at the end result in 3D. Open the Import and Model Manager dialog and select the Ghost Story tab discipline. Turn on the ground floor level 1 by clicking on the I symbol and press OK. Next, activate the render working mode from the toolbar. Now we see a 3D representation of the building we have generated from a 2D DWG file in just a matter of minutes. How to navigate and use the render mode will be shown in the next video.